Okay, here's one for you guys. So we have the lid switch bypassed. Now we're gonna just do a quick test. So if we turn on the spin cycle, and we just hear a hum. Now if you reach down here by the drive coupler, and you can spin this freely, then uh, it could be a capacitor or it could be the timer. If you can't spin this uh, drive coupler down here, um, you can't spin that by hand then you've got a uh, stuck uh, transmission either motor is froze up you got something stuck in your water pump or you got a problem with your transmission first thing to do is take that water pump off make sure it's free there's no socks or anything stuck in it and then from there you take and check the motor then after that you check the transmission um, so I suspected this uh, capacitor was bad because you look down here, we see some oil. This oil may have weeped out of this capacitor here. Uh, that may be the problem. But at this point, um, we also have a stuck uh, drive coupler. So we cannot, I cannot move that drive coupler. This one here is like a, one I got at the scrapyard. And I'm just uh, doing my recycling thing. I touch up the rust and uh, you know try and get it back going to, uh, again it seems to be oh this has the antimicrobial basket which I've never heard of this is a first for me it's an Amana and so yeah so we're gonna take that motor off and check it I'm also working on this uh, this refrigerator so when these things don't normally come on first thing I do is run a Hard start, drain one capacitor on it. See if it comes on, if it comes on, you know you got a good uh, compressor. And you can put the original uh, start relay back on. And so if you got a new start relay all wired up and it still doesn't come on, it's gonna be this control, the temperature control inside the unit. And that's what this one has a problem with. It's the temperature control the little thermostat control that little thing on the top we adjust the temperature this is also a scrapyard find and uh, so I'm bringing this one back to life all it needs is that temperature control switch and or maybe just a loose connection or a bad connection I can clean up hopefully and we're ready to rock and roll now this one here somebody brought me and uh, oh it's the Maytag Bravos 
I think I've got the matching dryer to this one too. Anyway, it's got a bad control board. Usually on these control boards, if you have it plugged in, you don't have a light on. It's going to be the uh, primary input voltage transformer that's gone bad on it. And a lot of these are very similar. I believe this computer is the same as that computer. But I just happen to have an extra computer. I'm going to pop in this one and make that one work. And okay, so this one. A little disclaimer for you guys. Don't try this at home. So this capacitor is fine. I looked at it. It's not weeping. It's fine. This is some other kind of oil that's seeped down on there. Anyway, what I did is I pulled this, pulled this loose. And if we look inside here, we're going to see a little piece of something in there. A little sock or something stuck in there. Very common. What happens is clothes will, you fill it up the top of the, the thing and you got little clothes, little underwear or something. It'll go right under there. Go down and get stuck into the water pump. This one also has another problem. Um, it may not... So those little white things, you see those little white things right on the top of that black thing? Those are the shoes. Sometimes those shoes will wear out and cause it to um, spin very sort of erratic. Now this thing is actually, see this? This is not supposed to be there. So this tripod thing, there's another piece of metal that's not square on this tripod. See these shoes? They should be flat on this thing and then this thing shouldn't be sticking right there. So we got a problem there. Um, this usually occurs when you lay the machine down, run it around, off-road kind of thing, and uh, there's this metal sliding piece comes loose. It doesn't sit square, so you have to readjust it so it's square, and then make sure that your little shoes here are all good. And that's what's wrong with this one. Okay, so I, I adjusted this tripod here. So that tripod's got to sit like this. It's tilted, so it's not going to be sitting straight. But basically, you can see how it is. This little white thing in there has got a seat on that tripod. Tripod's got to be lined up with the uh, frame tripod. So this is like a sliding, whatever, cushion or plate, whatever they call it. I don't know. Anyway, this one should be good to go. Might actually paint a little bit of this rust under here. Give it that extra... Yeah, this one has got the antimicrobial action, component action. Never saw that before. And then, and so, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, I give phone consultations for $39, 707-443-8347.